perfect portrait uses control points around the eyes, lips, and teeth to make an absolutely wonderful selection around all of the different facial feature points. However, what happens when you end up in a situation like this one, where someone may not necessarily be smiling with teeth, or has their eyes closed? With just a couple of small and very quick adjustments, you can change the way that Perfect Portrait looks at the facial feature points. Let me go ahead and jump into Perfect Portrait and show you how to edit a unique portrait like this one. Once you have your image open inside Perfect Portrait, you'll want to click inside the green box around your subject's face to zoom in so that we can take a look at those control points. You'll see that around the mouth, it's done a really great job of placing it around the lips and the teeth. However, the eyes, not quite so much. It's having a hard time trying to figure out where the eyes are because they're closed. So to go through and adjust these control points, first you'll want to click inside the small center, which is a cyan dot. You're going to see it right in the middle of those four control points. We'll go ahead and click, and I'm going to drag it towards kind of the general center of the eye. Then I'm going to click and drag the right and left hand sides to the left and right hand side of the eye. Then I'll take the top and the bottom control points and move them in so that all of a sudden you end up with just a straight line across where the eye is. This will hide any adjustments that are made inside the eye and mouth pane, deselecting any section of your image for the eye. We're going to do the same thing on the right hand side. We're going to make sure that that blue dot is right over the eyelashes there. We're going to move the left and right hand sides to the edges of the eye and then move the top and the bottom sliders in. Now once we're done with this, on the right hand side, we're going to jump over to the eye and mouth pane and we're actually going to move the eye whitening and eye detail sliders all the way to zero. We want to make sure that just in case there are still no adjustments that are being made on the eyelashes and the areas around the eyes. Then up in the top right hand corner, you're going to click on the hide controls button. Now we don't have to stare at those control points as we continue our editing process. And one of the other things that's really important if you have a portrait like this one where someone's eyes are closed is you want to make sure that the eyelashes and the eyebrows remain nice and crisp. Because they're not part of that facial feature selection, they're actually being included in the skin softening, which is not what we want. So the first thing we need to do is view our mask. Down on the bottom left hand corner, you'll open up the mask view menu and then select mask red. Anywhere that's red is being protected from the skin selection, so we definitely need to go and change that. Up in the tool options bar, you'll want to adjust the brush tool that you're going to use. First, you'll open up the mode drop down menu and select not skin. That means anywhere we paint will be added to the area that will not be affected by the facial softening. Then you can change things like the size of your brush. We're going to go ahead and make it just a little bit smaller here so that it fits better over the eyes. You can also adjust the feathering amount, the opacity, and the use of the perfect brush. I definitely want to use the perfect brush here to make sure that I have a very exact mask around her eyelashes. So I'll go ahead and once I'm ready, just click and drag and we'll remove that softness that's being applied. We're going to do the same thing for over the eyebrows on both sides and we're also going to remove it from the hair that's over the right hand side of her face. We definitely don't want to soften that area as well. If you make any mistakes like I did here on the left hand side, you can always jump back up to your mode drop down menu and change this to add to skin. Then you can add an area of your image to your skin selection. Now when we go back down to the mask view menu, open it up and change this to after, all of those areas are now not softened, which is really important. We want to make sure that all of the facial feature points remain nice and crisp. Now I continue my editing process and I can add evenness, shine reduction, more smoothing, and so many other options.